Hello everyone and welcome back again to another yummy delicacy. Thank you all so much for tuning in in today's video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys this yummy and mouth-watering appetizer. I will call it appetizer, it's not meal, but it can serve as your meal. Yes, so if you're interested to see how I put this together, stay tuned and keep watching. So, in a pot, I'm going to add in my cow leg. I'm using cow leg, so you can use cow skin for this. So, into that, I'm going to add in this pepper soup spice. So, let me tell you guys, this recipe is local Igbo recipe, known as Nkwobi. If you are not Igbo, you might not understand, but you can still follow this recipe and cook yours. So I added salt now, salt to test. Then I'll add seasoning powder and I'll put onions, add water and allow this to cook. I added them um, local spice. There's this uh, powdered local spice I added now. Then I'm going to allow this to cook. and this cow skin takes long time to cook so this is the next day now and it has softened and i've deboned it i've removed all the bones so what you're seeing there is just the flesh so now i'm going to pound my spicy pepper this pepper is very spicy so i'll be using only one because i don't want it too much spicy but if you are a spicy kind of person you can add more to yours so i'm going to rough pound this that is, i'm not pounding it to be smooth it's just rough that's the texture i want for this recipe so into that i'm going to add in onions and roughly pound it as well So now I'm going to save in my potash. This is locally known as Akamu for Iwancha. <laughs> Let me know at the comment section. What do we call Ncha in English? <laughs> so into that, I'm going to stir it, stir it to combine properly. And I'll add in my crayfish and roughly pound it as well. Now it's time to add our palm oil. Yes, in order to get ncha, we have to add palm oil. But if you don't want ncha, you can put vegetable oil, stir it and turn it. It's still gonna give you nkwobi, but it will not be the same test. There is a test of ncha. When you combine potash with palm oil, pepper, onions salt yes this kind of special test that it gives you can use that for yam roasted yam or if you can't find yam you can as well use it for potatoes irish boiled potatoes and also it is meant for abacha you can use it to prepare your abacha so this is my incha now as you can see it has formed so i'm going to stir that inside my cow leg flesh and mix everything together and this is ready man oh So 
So this is the time to add obaka. If you have obaka, you can add it now. Oh my God. I wish I have obaka. I would have, this thing would be on another level. But there's no obaka. So we are going to just mix it up like that. It's very much ready now just look at that isn't this yummy isn't this inviting it's super yummy it's super delicious very sweet you need to try this if you've watched to this point and you have not subscribed please kindly hit that button that says subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more videos share our videos to your friends and your families, all right? I need to garnish it with lettuce, but if you have otazi vegetable, you can use it to garnish it. But this lettuce, I prefer this lettuce. It gives the same taste as um, getting egg leaf. That's a kukwangara. It has similar taste to that. So if you are making your abacha, use lectus for your akuko angara. It gives exactly the same test. This is super yummy. Let me know your thoughts at the comment section. Yes, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you on my next video. Don't forget to share to your family and your friends. Thank you. See you on my next video. Bye-bye.